now we will learn in this topic about how the uh, a structure of an acid affects its pk value the simplest way we can say that uh, if any two three compounds is given such as uh, such this three four compounds are given and asks to uh, arrange in decreasing order increasing order of acidic strength basic basic strength which one is more acidic if any examination questions are given two com three compounds is given and ask which one is more acidic yeah any in question we have to arrange in a decreasing increasing order in this examples it is in a in this way this is a increasing order of acidic strength this is a strongest acid this is a weakest acidic acid how these are happening we have already completed the what is acid what is base rennes concept lewis concept rust and lowry concept now we will learn about the application of this acid and base in deciding the relative acidity and basicity of any compound first of all you have to know about that in a periodic tables in a period fluorine oxygen nitrogen carbon the atomic number increases fluorine oxygen nitrogen in this way 6 6 it is a 6 atomic number actually problems it is a 6 atomic number now this carbon has a 6 atomic number this is a 7 8 and 9 in a period this is a period in period the atomic number increases in this order but the electronegativity also increases fluorine has the highest electronegativity than the oxygen than the nitrogen and carbon this is the increasing order of electronegativity it is shown in the increasing order of electronegativity suppose we have to decide the relative acidic strength between ch4 nh3 and h2o and hf we have to decide the relative order of acidity we have to decide the relative order of acidity then first of all we have to make this base conjugated base this is acid we have to make base by uh, removing one h after this making this uh, uh, h ch 3 plus it will be nh2 plus this will be oh plus this which will be fluorine plus in this order this compound we have to convert this compound this is a actually this will be minus minus after delivering h it will be minus this will be minus this will be minus after delivering h plus it will be minus h plus it will it is providing h plus so it is become nh2 minus now we have to decide the which one is more acidic and which one is having less acidic strength in this four compound so as i uh, as h is attached with the this fluorine h is attached with this oxygen h is attached with the nitrogen h is attached with this carbon so fluorine has the highest electronegativity after delivering this h plus it will become fluorine minus this will become oh minus this will be nh2 minus this will, this will become ch3 minus as the fluorine is highest electronegativity so it will pull this minus charge close to the nucleus as the nucleus is a positive charge so as this positive charge is electron deficient so if negative charge will come closer it will be more stabilized it will be more stabilized this compound fluorine will be more stabilized and similarly oxygen has a less electronegativity than the fluorine so it will it is also positive charge nucleus it will also attract negative charge towards the nucleus so it is also stabilized but it will less stabilized than the fluorine as the fluorine has the highest electronegativity it will now in this order we can understand that which one will be more acidic as the this uh, if anywhere question is asked uh, which this uh, two three compound is given and ask which one is more acidic then first of all we have to make the conjugated base of this compound just as this uh, this is a given compound we make this conjugated base of this compound we have to check which base is more stable as the base is the the st uh, stability of base increases acidic strength increases so this conjugated base of hf is more stabilized this base is more stabilized as this is a negative charge more close to the nucleus than this then this similarly oxygen has a less stability than the fluorine similarly nitrogen will be less stability than the oxygen similarly carbon will be the less stability than the 
nitrogen because in this order the electronegativity increases as the electronegativity increases it will pull the negative charge more close to the nucleus as this stabilizes this electron deficient nucleus so the stability increases if in place of negative if in place of negative if you leave positive then it will destabilize because positive positive it will destabilize so here is the negative charge will stabilize that's why as the electronegativity increases so we in, uh, not much always need we always not need to make the conjugated base we have to in the learning process i am showing and we have to draw the conjugated base and check the which one is more acidic for if you know if you learn the conjugated base we can think about the what will be the conjugated base of this compound this compound in the mind in your mind if you think that then you can directly answer but if you are confused which one is more acidic then the the best way is to make the conjugated base as i have this made this conjugated base and check which one will be more stable now this is a easy process but if you are understand how to make the conjugated base what will be the this compound conjugated base then that will be final that will be good and in this way we can answer now we have this make this conjugated base this is a conjugated base this will be more stable so this will this will be more acidic this is a strongest this is a weakest so in this order we have to arrange so we have to check the electronegativity of atom similarly this compound is shown which one is more acidic so then first of all we have to make the uh, <coughs> conjugated base after making this uh, conjugated base the We have to check the this is a methyl coal this is a methyl amine. Uh, we have to check which one is more acidic. First of all, we have to make the base. This compound base will be CS three O minus. This compound base will be CS three NH minus. Then this will the base will be this compound. This uh, why this H is removing, not e, this H is removing. Why this H is removing? This H is not removing. This H is more acidic. This H is more acidic than this H. There are two types of H. One H is attached with the carbon. One H is attached with the oxygen. Here is a one. Three H is attached with the carbon. Two H is attached with the nitrogen. Then which one will be more acidic? The with the H which is attached with the nitrogen is more acidic. <coughs> Why much is more acidic? Because nitrogen has a more electronegativity than the carbon. Here oxygen has a more electronegativity than the carbon. So this electronegativity increases. So H attached with this will be more acidic. So in this way, this H will be removing, and this H will be removing. After removing this H, this conjugated base are forming. Then we have to check which one will be more stable. As the oxygen has a more electronegativity than the nitrogen, so oxygen has a minus charge, nitrogen has a minus charge. So oxygen will be more stabilized more this minus charge than the nitrogen. I have already explained in this example. As the electronegativity increases, stability of negative charge increases. That's why this will be more acidic than this compound. Here, protonated form is form. Uh, by checking this protonate form can also check but this is a more easy st step the whatever what is the more easy and more clear i am explaining explaining this thing now this is a problem have to check which one is more acidic i already explained fluorine is more acidic than the nitrogen than the carbon you have to arrange the acidic now hybridizations there is a second concept to check the acidity by the hybridizations as the hybridizations increases this is a less electronegativity than this compound sp is more electronegativity than the sp2 than the sp3 why sp, sp, sp is more electronegativity than the sp2 than the sp3 i will explain these things as sp sp means 50 percent s character 50 percent p characters sp2 there is a 33 percent s characters and 33 percent p character 33 p percent similarly this is a sp3 this is a 25 percent s character and 25 percent p character in the sp3 so is there is a 50 percent s character s character is a now this is a 50 percent s character so s character increases uh, so electronegativity increases so why electronegative increases first of all this is a this hydrogen is sp hybridized this hydrogen is sp2 hybridized this hydrogen is sp3 hybridized so this will be more acidic this will be more uh, than this than this this is increasing order of acidic strength why sp hybridized is more acidic than the sp2 than the sp3 why sp2 is more electronegative more acidic than the sp3 why this thing uh, i will explain as there is a 
nucleus there is a nucleus positive charge nucleus and the 2s electron is more close to the nucleus than the 2p electrons 2s electrons s electrons will be more close to the nucleus than the p electrons as the distance average distance between s and nucleus will be less than the p and s as the distance decreases means negative charge more close to the nucleus than this as the negative charge more close to the nucleus so it will be more stable this will be more stable than this and then this so as <coughs> increases uh, this negative charge will go more close to the nucleus than the p as the distance p increases so that's why as the s increases s character increases s percentage increases negative charge will go more close to the nucleus as the p increases negative charge will go more close more distance in the more in go in more distance as the p increases negative charge go more distance that's why s increases negative charge will go come more close to the nucleus so the stability increases that's why this sp has a 50 percent s character 50 percent p character but sp2 has a 33 percent s character or 33 percent p character sp3 has 25 percent p s character and 75 percent p character this is written on 75 percent p character <coughs> so that's why this is s character as the s character increases this is S character 55%, 33%, and 25%. So S character decreases in this order and S character increases in this order. That's why SP is more acidic than this, than this. As the <coughs> from this concept, we can answer this. This is a SP hybridized. So this is a SP hybridized. So this will be more stable than this, than this. SP2 hybridized. SP2 hybridized more acidic than the SP3. So that's why this hydrogen is SP2 hybridized. This hydrogen is. This carbon is sp hybridized, this carbon is sp2 hybridized, this carbon is sp3 hybridized. So this hydrogen which is attached with the sp hybridized carbon atoms will be more acidic. In this order we can uh, decide the acidic strength in case of hybridization. So, <coughs> so here this will be more acidic than this. Here is this, uh, neglect this not much important. Which is more acidic? this is really more acidic here yeah, this will be more acidic we have to compare this which one will be more acidic so we have to just make a conjugated base so after donating this will become a ch3o ch3 and this will become a ch3o this will become in this order this will become ch3 ch3 oh which one is more acidic this is a, which one is a stronger acid we have to make conjugated base this is a base this is a base this is a base which base will be more now we have to compare the between this now this is a conjugated base this is a conjugated base so we have to check by the hybridizations we have to check by the hybridizations this compounds is a link like a this is a two line pair this is a two line pair we have to check the hybridizations what is the hybridization as there is a hybridizations in uh, if this will be sp is more electro uh, acidic than the sp2 than the sp3 what is the hybridization of this two oxygen? As the hybridization, this is increase in hybridization. This is increase in hybridization. As the hybridization increases, so a stability decreases. As the hybridization increases, the stability decreases. This is a lone pair. So lone pair is, should be more close to the nucleus. So as the hybridization decreases, this lone pair will be more close to the nucleus. So the stability increases. Now we have to check. This is a 1, 2, 3. This is a sp2 hybridized. This oxygen is a sp2 hybridized. And this oxygen is a sp3 hybridized. This is a sp3 hybridized. So this will be, this lone pair will be more close to the nucleus. So the basic strength increases this. So this is a basic strength will increase this so this will be more stable than this so this will be the more acidic than this the stability you have to check after making the conjugated base this is more stable than the this so this will be more acidic than this now draw the flowing reactions product of the following reactions we have to draw 
to check now the size size is a size is important factor in deciding the aesthetic strength as this is a i i bromine chlorine fluorine iodine 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 is a more bigger size than the bromine than the chlorine than the fluorine as thing one thing i will make answer this is a period this is a period and this is a group in those order as the we will go in this order acidic strength increases so as you go down downside acidic strength increases so this is iodine is the downward side in the bromine in the chlorine as the size increases we in this period we have to consider the electronegativity as the electronegativity increases acidic strength increases in down the group to to take size as the size increases electronegativity size increases acidic strength increases so in this order iodine is a bigger size in the bromine than the chlorine than the fluorine bromine is a bigger size in the chlorine chlorine is bigger size than the bromine fluorine so size increases there is a more dispersion of negative charge this negative charge will get more and more space to disperse this will get more and more volume to disperse or to stabilize this negative charge negative charge will not be concentrated only one situation not in one condition not in one positions it will disperse in the whole volume this iodine that's why this negative charge will more stable than the bromine and the chlorine than the fluorine so this is an increasing order of negative charge stability so now we have to check the uh, this one two three four compound is given we have to take the acidic strength then we have to first of all we have to make the conjugated base the conjugated base will be the bromine the chlorine then the bromine then the iodine so this iodine is a more dispersed this negative charge so this will be more stable than this than this so the conjugated base stability increases acidic strength increases so this will be more acidic than the, this than this we have to consider this concept in the group we have to check the size in period we have to check the electronegativity as the electronegativity increases in the period if any compound is given which is in the pe same period then we have to check the electronegativity between these two items if any compound two compounds is given which in the same group then we have to check the size as the size increases acidic strength increases <coughs> Now here is some examples is given. Which one is more acidic? In this way, we have to check the which one will will be the more acidic. Now this is a very simple simple questions is given. We can solve this one. Now substitutions affect the acidic strength. As <coughs> as this is a this is a bromine chlorine fluorine fluorine chlorine bromine. As the I effect increases, the if any compound, such a compound X, X is a negative charge. It is attached with this uh, fluorine. This X negative charge attached with the chlorine. Fluorine is a more electronegativity, so it will stabilize more and more negative charge along the. It will be taught to withdraw the negative charge along a sigma bonds. This is a minus I effect. This is minus I effect. It will try to stabilize this. Negative charge. This chlorine also try to stabilize. This is also providing I effect. But fluorine is a more electronegativity than the chlorine. That's why this will provide more and more I effect to stabilize the X minus charge than the chlorine. Similarly, if uh, fluorine is present between C H two and X minus, here in the X minus and fluorine is present between these two compound. Fluorine is the this uh, as the minus i effect and plus i effect are the distance distance dependent as the distance increases effect will be decreases so this is in a one two this is a two positions this now this is in a first positions fluorine is the first position here is in second positions so this will stabilize more minus minus charge and then this this will stabilize less minus charge than this this will withdraw more and more electrons towards this fluorine and and it will also try to withdraw more and more electrons but as compared to between these two compound this will this is a more stability than this compound as this is in a more distance so as the distance increases as the i effect are distance dependent so it will stabilize less than this 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 is also stabilized but they but less than this the similar concept is applying this compound as this is a Acidic. This H is acidic. This H is acidic. After making the conjugated base, this will become a minus charge. This will become minus charge. H will be removing. This will become minus charge. This will become the minus charge. Now this minus charge has only C H three. This minus charge is bromine. This is a chlorine. This is a fluorine. So fluorine will be more electronegative. This provide more and more an I effect minus I effect. So it will stabilize more and more negative charge. Because all the 
this is in the conjugation this is in the conjugation the same things are available but only one thing is different between this four compound is minus i group this minus i group fluorine chlorine globin so fluorine will be more stabilized this negative charge than the chlorine than the globin so this will be the more stable than this than this so acidic strength will be higher than higher 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 this order the acidic strength will be in this order as the conjugated base of this compound will which is more stabilized by this minus i effect so this will be more stable than this 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 so in this way we can check the stability as this is a i've shown this is a minus charge inductive inductive electrons will draw stabilize the base this is a base it will stabilize by this inductions inductive electrons will draw towards bromine so in this order the stability is shown this is a more stable similarly now the same group are attached the four compound is given bromine bromine are attached but as the minus i effect are the distance dependent whenever this will be from a minus charge this will conjugated base have to make the conjugated base this is a conjugated base now conjugated base are formed this is a di distance dependent 1 2 3 4 5 this is a five positions 1 2 3 4 5 this is a four positions now 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 this is a three positions this is a this is just two positions this is a two positions this is three four five <laughs> five number positions so as a this is a distance dependent so distance dependent minus i plus i effect are distance dependent so the distance decreases effect will be increases so this is in a more close distance to the negative charge this will be the also more close distance but this is in a more distance than this so as the this is a more close more close this is in this is in this order so this will be more strategic this will stabilize more minus i effect so it will be more strategic this will also stabilize the minus i effect but this is a less strategic than this so in this way we can explain the acidic strength similarly the example is given this in a one two position this is a one two positions both positions are same but this is a fluorine this is a bromine so fluorine is a more minus i effect it will this, so this will be more acidic than this after making conjugated weight it base it will stabilize more than this <coughs> similar thing happening this is a one two three this is in a two position and one three positions but both are in two positions here both are both minus i effect are affecting acting in both in two two positions and this is acting two and three so one two will be balanced but one more chlorine is present two positions so it will stabilize more conjugated base than this there is a two but this is a two and three two three positions so here is the, this compound one more i effect is providing in two positions so one chlorine one chlorine will balance suppose this balance now the next factor will decide another chlorine now this is in two position now this is in a three position so it will stabilize more conjugated base than this compound now this is a similar questions we, we can solve very easily this is all the similar questions now we have to take the decolorations as a decolorations as the resonance increases stability increases after making the conjugated base of this compound the compound will be ch3 c o and o minus charge but they making this compound this CS, cs2 and o minus this o minus has no any conjugation but this o minus has a one conjugation this will be minus charge this will become a plus charge now this compound will be ch3 c now this will be only one actually i'll make you here now th this compound CH3 C O minus now now this O minus is shared by 1 and 2 this 2 oxygen this O minus is sharing and this is in the conjugation with the 1 2 3 bonds so it will provide conjugation resonance that's why this is a more <coughs> area more number of atom to disperse this negative charge but this oxygen has only one atom to to the to take this negative charge to remain in the one position but this is a dispersion this is a decolorization there is a decolorization of negative charge but there is a localization of this negative charge only one position is there but this is there is a decolorization there is a localization so decolorization increases negative charge decolorization increases stability increases that's why this is a more stable than this so this will be more acidic than this you have to make the conjugated base and conjugated base now check this is a more stable than this that's why this is a more acidic than this now the similar things is external this is a more decolorized decreasing electron density stabilize this oxygen now this is a 
two structures so this will be the hybrid structures after it is this structure will be formed this is hybrid structures um, so all the things whatever things i have explained is given now summary of the factor that will determine the acidic strength summary the along the period we have to acidic strength increases we have to compare the electronegative atoms if two groups are there given suppose carbon nitrogen is given any two groups are given which in the same period then we have to check the electronegativity between these two groups which will be the most electronegative that will group will be that group will be more stable they will that group will be more acidic now in the finite two groups will be given and which are in the same group which if two compounds is given which in the same group then they have to check the size as the size increases acidic strength increases the hybridization sp hybridization will be more acidic than the sp2 and the sp3 i have already explained why sp is most <coughs> uh, stabilize the induction inductive electron will drop we have to check the positions if all are in the same position then we have to check the group are the same or not same or not if if you all are in the same position we have to check the group are different or not they are in the positions 1 2 all group are in the two positions but this doesn't having any minus i effect this is a minus i effect this is having minus i effect but the group are changed fluorine chlorine bromine chlorine is more more a minus i effect so it will be more acidic more it will more stabilize the negative charge conjugated base as this all this group are in the same uh, same all the group minus i effect are same but they are different positions this is in the one two positions this is in the three positions so two positions will stabilize more or minus charge then this this will stabilize more the conjugated base then this this will provide more acidic strength then this so now this is then having minus i effect so it will be least acidic electron decolization as the decolization increases acidic strength increases because there is a stability of negative charge by the decolization when we when we make the conjugated base conjugated will be more stabilized by the conjugation by the decolization by the resonance so that's why this will be more stable than this in this way, uh, way we can uh, understand this is a basic behind the acidic strength to determine the acidic strength by the similar constant concept we can also apply in the basic strength but uh, i will explain in another topic the basic strength now i explain this thing i have explained now this is a basic what about the required to understand the acidic strength now i will go in more detail and more complicated question to decide the acidic strength